Studies show Flatbush as one of the largest concentration of Asians in the entire country. On Friday, May 18, Asian Flag Day, an Asian district was announced in East Flatbush. May I appeal? Good morning and happy Haitian Flag Day. Today, I am thrilled to be joined by our elected officials, community leaders, and constituents as we announce the Little Haiti Business Cultural District. Asian flags wave proudly in Brooklyn, celebrating the country's Flag Day, as well as the formation of the Little Haiti Business and Cultural District in East Flatbush. A new street sign was unveiled, naming Nastron Avenue, where it meets Newkirk Avenue, Tucson Lavatour Boulevard, in honor of a well-known leader of the Asian Revolution. Today is a historic day for Brooklyn. My name is Assemblymember Rodney Bichard, representing the largest Haitian population in the state of New York in the Assembly. And we are here today to announce the Little Haiti Cultural and Business District in Flatbush, Brooklyn. Yeah. Hi, my name is Jodine Dorsey. I'm a resident of Brooklyn, New York. And I am very honored, happy, proud right now to be on Nostrand Avenue and New Kirk Avenue at that intersection to see the unveiling of Toussaint Louverture Boulevard. What a glorious moment. Always wanted to move to New York and live in Little Haiti. And I can officially say that I do. So thank you to everyone involved for making this possible. It's a great day to be Haitian. It's a great day to be celebrating Haitian Flag Day and on this day to have such a historic event like the announcement of Little Haiti BK and also the naming of the Toussaint Louverture Boulevard. Hello, my name is Assemblymember Rodney Spichot. I represent the 42nd Assembly District, which has the largest Haitian immigrant population in the whole entire New York State. I am here in Flatbush where we just announced the designation of Little Haiti. Today is Haitian Flag Day and we're proud to have been joined by many elected officials including the Deputy Mayor and the Brooklyn Borough President Eric Adams as well as Councilmember Jumani Williams and Nick Perry. We are so excited that we had announced to designate Little Haiti as well as unveiling the co-name of Nostrand Avenue to Toussaint Louverture Boulevard. I'm here for Haitian Flag Day naturally and also the unveiling of Toussaint Louverture Boulevard on um, Nostrand Avenue so this is a great day for us. Oh, very good, very good. So tell us a little bit about your background. Um, my name is Alex Jean-Baptiste. I'm the founder of an organization called Casu Haiti and what we do is we give international exposure to Haitian artists and artisans because we think that opportunity is a better way to help them and um, there's so much talent and willingness to, uh, to work so we're just giving them an outlet so that's what we do and I'm also um, the author of the upcoming book Word of Art where I'm illustrating Haitian proverbs with Haitian art so this is really exciting. What brought me out today is the love of my people and the desire to see cultural as well as empowerment and cultural change empowerment as well as just bringing awareness to our communities that don't know of all the progress the Haitian people have made as well as our history and what we've done for this country and so many countries. Brooklyn's Little Haiti will showcase an authentic Haitian experience via food, art, music, language and traditions of res residential and commercial stakeholders of the area driving economic development, tourism, and revitalizing this whole area. This is what it's all about. We are here to reclaim our neighborhoods, to rebuild our neighborhoods. We want to beautify the streets. We want to build cultural centers and museums and art galleries. We want to bring in decorative lights and, and lamps. We want to have cleaner streets. And we're going to bring programming here. Programming where we're going to have Taste of Haiti and Restaurant Week and also we want to bring affordable housing. We don't want our residents to leave. We want them to stay here. I came out today in support for history. It's an amazing statement to Brooklyn that we're finally honored in the appropriate way and that the Liberator is up for all to see.
Thank you.